Hi, it's Heidi Cantwell here for WordPress 101 for Beginners. And we've been working on things that you can do to make your WordPress site more secure than that you have. And one thing we talked about was uh, changing your username, your admin username. Now, sometimes the default settings will just choose your name and it'll just say admin. And the problem with that, and a lot of times when WordPress got started, that's how they were then all the time. A lot of times it's usually the admin. But the issue here is that um, when you log in as admin, it's so easy to guess. It makes a lot of people start guessing passwords and finding ways to hack into your website. And so you don't really want to use admin anymore. You know, you want to use something else. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to, if you have the admin already set up as admin, and you want to change it to something else, then we're going to show you how to do that. Okay, here we are in the back, and we are under, you know, as admin. And if you want to move it to someplace else, you want to create a new user. So you would go on and have a uh, add new, and then from here you're going to go ahead and fill out the information that you need: uh, the username, the email address, password. And you want to choose a good password. You don't want to choose an easy one. If you have something like one, two, three, that's just way too easy. And so it'll let you know whether to have. Now this is just some like random things on the keyboard. You can see that's a lot stronger. You might not remember that. You're going to need to know what it is to type in so you can get in. And um, you can also have the password sent to you easier by email, so they have a, that information. Because you can do the same thing to add other new users. And as you add them, you decide whether you want to be administrator, editor, author, contributor, subscriber. And in this case, you want to pick administrator because you're switching out your old admin user for a new admin user. And once you have the username here you want, and things like that, then you can go ahead and click the add new user. Now one of the things you're going to see is you're going to see these posts that was made by the old user is still showing up there, uh, post by admin. And maybe that's not what you want then, you want it to show up under, uh, you don't want to delete them. And you do want them to show up with the new name. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We are back here in the dashboard. We are under the uh, users, all users. And this is the admin one that we're not wanting anymore. I made this up just so we could uh, see it and um, play with it and I made the start of the post on it. But we're going to go ahead and click the delete button here. And now you can see it comes up. Do you want to delete all the posts and links that are owned by this user? Or do you want to attribute them to another user? And here we're going to attribute them to another user. And then you just hit confirm deletion. And when you do that, the old admin is gone. You got the new name that will be up there, and that will show up on everything. And uh, let's go back and check that post. Again. And you can see now that is got the new name. It's showing up. It's not showing up as admin anymore. And all the posts that you had that was with admin will not show up with that new name. It's very easy to do. Anyway, have fun with this. Uh, keep your WordPress site safe, secure. Um, Change your admin name, make sure your things are backed up, those are two of the most important things you can do. And meanwhile, have fun with your uh, WordPress site. This is Heidi Castle here, uh, WordPress 101 for members.